Hello everyone, what is up? Welcome back to another episode by the Pokemonster. So it's the day before Old Year's Eve, December 30. And I want to wish everybody a happy new year in advance. This will be the last episode for this year. I thought it was nice to do a recap of what we purchased over the last couple of months and put it in a binder basically. Everybody be safe uh, celebrating Old Year's Eve and New Year's Eve and all that stuff. Be careful with the fireworks and that stuff. And have a fun day tomorrow. So what I got for Christmas, I got a Crown Zenith Professor Sonia mini tin and I got for Christmas a Venomized uh, Groot from a Funko Pop. Thanks, didn't have that one in the collection yet. So I have a question for you guys. I got this tin uh, under the Christmas tree. So what happened? There are two Crown Zenith booster packs in here alongside a sticker and a playing card. And then we opened the booster pack and first I got the professor's research and to top that we also have an Irida Galarian Gallery. So this was one beautiful booster pack so to say. And now is my question to you guys. Should we open the other one as well or basically keep it sealed? What's, what are the odds of hitting big two times in two booster packs? Let me know in the comments and uh, it might be interesting to open it or if your take is to keep it sealed. First things first, we have to get everything out of the top loaders and card savers. So I heard other Pokemon YouTubers talk about collection goals. I was curious to hear your guys' collection goals as well. Some of my own collection goals is uh, definitely some more full arts, as you can see. Over the last couple of months, I'm focusing on that uh, kind of card type, full art supporters, trainer galleries, Galarian galleries, special art rares, special illustration rares rather. Illustration rares. Yeah, I have witnessed the spike of the Japanese character rares. It was insane. I bought a couple of, uh, for example, the Pikachu Lost Origin Trainer Gallery. I bought them in Japanese from the set, I think, Femax Climax, not certain. So I bought one of those for 5 euro. And a few weeks later, even, the price went up from all those character rares to about 30 bucks so it spiked up to 30 euros and like i said it couldn't last long i haven't sold it i still have it i should have sold it the price went down 50 percent after not too long after so this was one of those lost origin pikachus great card and i started buying some skyla full arts jesse and james and the moon full arts Giovanni's Charisma, that was not the best buy. I mean, um, what was the name? Giovanni's Exile. And I've showed them a couple of times on camera, both the Japanese character rares and the trainer gallery slash full art supporters in uh, other episodes from the past year or maybe even two years ago now. It might be fun to revisit some of the old videos later and maybe I said some things about prices back then and maybe I did some predictions and we can check if that was true or not eventually. Now let's start putting everything in the binder. Sort the cards a bit first. It's not a bad idea, I think. There we have a Geofanny's Charisma. Lieutenant Yoshida, very cool card. Hope to find some more. I don't know what the prices are doing. I purchased also a Great Detective Pikachu booster box for about 140 this year and I saw now someone ordering offering it for 110 so that is a steal if you can get it in my opinion but maybe the prices are dropping off on some of that stuff too nobody is opening it maybe people want uh, quick monies quick dandies and they choose to sell uh, their collection for me it's a nice part of the hobby uh, keeping track of the value of my collection and not really necessarily that I'm going to sell it this is all going into the binder for a long time, to be honest. Tulips. Yeah, Tulip might be one of the latest cards uh, sets that I ordered. I have ordered some students of Paldia in the meantime. I hope they arrive uh, soon next year. Some of the cards have already arrived, but I still have to confirm the shipment. Do a little bit of checking on the condition. So it might have been a while since you have seen this binder for the last time. There are some of the Jesse and James and Giovanni's cards that I was talking about. I think we keep uh, this open or we put the Gar Giovanni's Charisma here. I think it fits here pretty well, actually. I have ordered some more of those, dancers, I believe. Yeah, two of them. 
let's compare them quickly i think the left one is a bit better centered yeah let's see what we will do with the other one we did have a beauty however no ladies this time we do however have a mimikyu v let's just put it here for the time being haven't ordered any of those i think this is a nice spot for the friends cards so yeah let's start with the adding some friends of galar very known from the game sword of shield here we have um, is it team diamond or team pearl irida dawn i don't know this guy's name anymore adaman this is barry right cynthia i don't know anyways i don't know if we have enough space for those cards here three more yeah next time you see this binder it will be better organized some of them are pretty much off center none of them is damaged i should do a bit better sorting and the condition checking we did it during the meal day episodes some are in perfect fit sleeves some are in regular ultra pro sleeves that is the consequences of doing so many shipments everybody has their own shipment method and preferred method of sleeving their cards basically and protecting the cards this one is a little bit of a different sleeve again and I also have a very, very long sleeve here. Yeah, it seems like I need to get some more ultra pro sleeves. Ah, they're on my desk, nice. Yeah, this is a really long sleeve, as you can see, compared to the regular ones. And this one has one of those very nice tabs for in case you want to save the cards in the top loader. But for in such a nine pocket binder, I think it's better to use the regular ultra pro sleeves. Or if you like the perfect fit sleeves better, that's also possible. Maybe double sleeved even. Let's see how far we can get with filling the binder. I hope there's nothing on the next page. I can't remember to be honest. There might be some more character rare or trainer galleries. Well, seems like we were lucky. There's not a lot of uh, stuff changing in this binder. I'm never taking cards out of this binder. And when it's filled, well, then I have to restructure this part of the collection. So I thought I had 40 copies of Daisy's Help. There aren't really 40. Well, it is not bad, to be honest. I'm satisfied with the... I, I, pl I had to plan this all out, you know. This was the plan for a few months to fill this binder with these cards for these prices as well. I think I did a pretty decent job so far. Let's see, what do we put here? The tulips maybe? There will definitely be some more tulips in the future. I like the card, I like the full art as well. I mean the special illustration where that is also where Dendra is in the picture, right? Let's put the Cynthia's there. All different kind of cards, different eras. And next time you'll see this binder, it will be we will have a, a lot of more cards to put in and i think i will restructure it before too so i guess let's take the irida out of the tin and the professor research as well i might sell that one i just saw it was three bucks i think the irida will fit here since i only have one copy currently and i think you still have to let me know what to do with the pack right don't forget to comment so a Pejoto, I think I already have one of those in the binder. We also have a Lieutenant Yoshida already. Then we have left the Pikachus. Yeah, let's put this in another binder or maybe in a card saver as well. Technically, the Fango promo is also... The Pikachu with Greyfeld hat is also a sealed promo. But it's much more expensive than the Mewtwo. Let's go on with the Gitas then. So we are pretty far filling those pages too with Gitas. People don't spend that much on uh, Pokemon cards anymore compared to at least one to two years ago. Except me and a few other people of course. Well it can be a really stupid decision or perhaps you never know what happens in the future. The Rudy bedroom with uh, Evolutions is a nice example of that. And I really like to collect this just personally as a hobby as well but i think we're 
almost at the end let's tuck away some Pikachu LORs from these purchases I remember one was in German and one was not near mint so here we have all the Pikachus that I already collected quote unquote all the Pikachus I only had two and that are many more now I think I have to move the tra other trainer galleries and put some Pikachus there as well I hope this video can give you some inspiration on cards to buy too I think they're much lower value than what I paid for those it's a good time to pick up some cards good time to let go of some other cards that's uh, how I see it a lot of fireworks already going on in the neighborhood I don't know if you can hear it on camera but that's a good time of the year oh wait I see the EX one here the excellent one it was marked nicely I think I did it myself to be honest so that's not near mint we filled some pages with those LOR Pikachus too right not bad there is my already owned Lieutenant Yoshida and here we have the new two I like this one as well Professor Oak's new setup or Professor Oak's setup this is Professor Juniper to be honest I'm not 100% certain if the Japanese one is now more expensive still but it was 15 euro compared to 1 euro or 2 euro for the English one some older Japanese cards the band Grimer Isaac Grimer some alt arts that I purchased and pulled as well I pulled the Mewtwo I pulled the Leafeon I think I pulled the Suicune in a video as well I pulled this one right at release of Astro Radiance I purchased this one for 30 bucks near mint a good near mint and it went up to 45 yeah 45 euros or something like that now it's back at 32 36 yeah I haven't sold any cards basically over the last uh, time okay I think that wraps it up for today for me guys let's go over the binder one more time I wish you all yet again a really happy new year take care of yourself everybody And uh, yeah, I wish everybody a good time and I'll see you all in the next year on the next video. Pokemonster out. See ya.